Alright, hi, um, I'm going to be discuss, I'm going to do a short summary of the new episode, and then I will discuss my opinions on it. Um, okay, so, the Asylum of the Daleks, it's very twisty and plot twisty, I guess, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, I guess they, Rory and Amy were, like, splitting up or something, like, they were getting a divorce, and then the doctor basically pulls them back together, and you find out that Amy can't help children anymore, and Rory wanted to stay with her anyway, but she kicked him out so that he could, um, have a life because, uh, like that. Like, he could be with someone else, he could have children. So they got, they kind of, he kind the doctor kind of fixed their marriage. Then you also find out, you see the new companion in this, actually, and her name's Oswin, and, um, she is, like, this genius, and, um, you find out that she is also a Dalek, like, she got changed into a Dalek, but she didn't know it, because she was, um, just telling herself that it didn't happen, so she was just making up this whole life for herself, and it was, like, a dream, basically. So, um... That's basically the episode, and then they, uh, blow up the Dalek Asylum, and then they leave. So, um, yeah. Uh, my opinion on it, it was, ba it was really, I thought it was a great, uh, season premiere. Very suspenseful, and you just wanted to know what was happening next. And, um, some comments I've heard about it was, uh, that it was, Muppet was being, uh, sexist in this. Um, I don't think he was at all, actually. Uh, people are saying it's because he made it seem like, uh, women were only good for having children, which I don't think was the case, like I said before. Um, Rory had always wanted children as a, as a kid, like it, it was said in the episode, and he, he knew that she couldn't have children anymore, and, um, so it wasn't, like, a big deal to him that Amy couldn't have ch children anymore. They, he was perfectly happy just being with her. And, um, so I don't think that was the case at all, so, uh, then there's also the thing about River, because people were like, oh, well, they had River, so, I mean, that was for their kid, and, um, in my opinion, I don't think that, I didn't really think that counted as them actually just having a kid. Like, it, River came out of Amy, but it wasn't, I don't think it counts as her child, really, because she didn't get to raise River at all and um, do any kind of motherly things after having her. So, it, um, a lot of the people were, are wondering what's going to happen with Oswin and, like, how is she, how is she going to be the new companion if she, you know, died? Um, well, in what I've, some theories my friends have made up was, um, the doctor's going to go back in her time stream and, uh, pick her up and they're going to go on adventures and do whatever and then he's going to bring her back to, like, the planet where she was, like, to the regular time stream so she can basically die, um, so, it was, I mean, it's, it's really sad, but I mean, like, when has it ever been where the doctor didn't leave their companion, like, heartbroken, or, oh, and I wanted to show you guys some pictures of me and my friend Molly, uh, watching the episode when it happened, um, It. Um, I did dye my hair, so <laughs> it's it's a lot more orange than I planned. It was not because of Doctor Who. I just needed to dye my hair because it was my roots were growing in. And I don't know. I get my I get a pet peeve about that kind of thing for some reason. Um, but then I'm kind of excited for the next um, episode this Saturday, and it's gonna be fun. There's a lot of people from uh, Harry Potter in it and
couple people from Sherlock, from what I recognize. Um, and yeah, it should be pretty exciting. There's dinosaurs and such. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you next week. <laughs>